why do I not need to be in love right now? Uh, just to be completely honest, it would slow me down. It would slow me down. Like, just to be completely transparent, I'm trying to build something from absolutely nothing. I have a full-time job. I have two full-time jobs. I don't, I don't sleep, right? And my weekends is all dedicated to my brand, whether it's shooting, whether it's editing, whether it's traveling, whether it's production. Like, my little setup right here, if I could show you, I would. Like, my setup where I'm at... I'm here more than anywhere else. If I'm not at work, if I'm not in a gym, if I'm not eating, if I'm not sleeping, I am right here or I'm next door shooting a podcast. I don't have time for shit. Now, recently, I tried a situation out that was, I guess you could say, getting a little bit serious. Um, but I, I realized it would have been, I, I, I just couldn't dedicate the time, energy, and money needed towards that. Money too. My money goes right back to this shit or to food, I'm not going to lie, but still, like, that shit adds up, like, seriously, like, like, being in love or relationship, that shit takes time, energy, and money, and I don't want to hear y'all sit here and say, oh, you don't need money, no, relationships cost money, y'all, I'm not saying we got to go out every day, da-da-da, whatever, relationships cost money, it costs something, it costs time, it costs energy, I don't have nothing to spare right now, I have nothing to spare. Everything is going back to day by day or working out or work. If I'm not at my nine to five, I'm here or I'm at the gym. I don't have. So if I were to be in love, it would slow me down because I would have to. What's the word? What's the C word? I would have to. Um, What's that word? I would have to compromise. I would have to compromise. Time is getting taken away from one of the two, whether it's her or whether it's my brand. Time is getting taken away from one of the two. And whichever one I'm taking the time away from is going to have a negative effect. If I take the time away from her, you don't spend time with me. We don't go out. You don't show me no attention. Women love attention. And I love that y'all love attention. And I know that y'all love attention. That's why I'm sturdy on, you know, not wanting to go down that road yet. So that's why I say... I, you know, it's, it's best that I don't fall in love right now because the time will have to be taken away from one and whichever one is getting taken away from is going to have a negative effect. If I take away from the brand, I'm lacking on content. I'm lacking on producing, right? My shit, my, my shit, I'm not going to upload videos and it's, I'm, and then I'm going to get all anxious, right? I'm going to have anxiety like, fuck, I'm not doing, it's my subconscious is going to kick my ass because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And then with her. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So who knows what that'll lead to? That'll lead to all types of shit. So long story short, uh, that is the reason why I say that I don't need to be in love. Um, that's why I'm not the in love type. I could be. I'm just, you know, I um, I walk on eggshells. And I'm not going to lie. If I see it coming, I kind of jump out the water early, if you would, if I can. Sometimes you be in that water too long and you can't help but to stay in it. But if I can... You know, I I, I kind of leave the situation before it gets to that. All right, so that's that's the answer, um, <laughs> uh, Bubba and Nani. What up, Nani? Not the, you don't know me. Stop talking like you know me, Nani. You don't know me for real. <laughs> uh, relationships definitely cost money. Yeah, love be slowing a lot down. It do, it do. And I'm not gonna, you know what I mean. I'm I'm not gonna sit and act like it don't. That shit does slow you down. Now, that's why I think like you should like do the whole love and marriage shit when you're when you're able to slow down. Now, I'm talking from men's perspective. Women is different because y'all it's the opposite. Y'all, you know, kind of got to get to it quicker than we do because y'all tip y'all, you know, we're supposed to provide. So y'all want to get with a dude that's able to provide and you're able to slow down with if that's what it come down to, unless y'all both work and 50 50, whatever. But if you're trying to do the, you know what I mean? Like he's able to really take care of y'all. Then you want to get with a dude that can provide and you can slow down. With men, we got to grind. It's going to be a minute before we get to that phase where we're able to slow down. So I think that if I try to get to that too early before I'm able to slow down, then it's going to take longer for me to get to that point when I can slow down. I might as well just lace my boots now, do what I got to do. Then when I get to that point, being realistic, I'm 29 years old. Realistically, between 32 and 35, realistically, to the point where like, okay, bet. Because I, I like to eat, I like to do things. Like if I get in a relationship and then like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, again, I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? 
saying I'm, you know what I mean, like a, you know what I mean? But I, I, I deal with high, like high quality women. Like I don't deal with just any type of chick and I know what high quality women come with. So if we talking relationships, I want to keep her happy. Myself too. I like doing shit. I like taking trips. I like freaking off on balconies. I like going to brunch and then going to hunch. I like all that shit. That shit costs money. We ain't going to just be in the crib all day. So yeah, give me like, I don't know, give me like till like 30, between 32 and 35 for me. I'm 29, I turn 30, November 29th. Between 32 and 35 maybe, it depends. But right now, I got to grind. I ain't got no time for shit else but work, this brand, and working out and eating and sleeping. Compromise, yeah, that's the word. 